AT4 for us really evolved from the all-terrain trim level on our outgoing truck. And we, going in, we knew we kind of wanted to change the name and we wanted to bring more capability into it. Um, on, the, on the doors, one of the unique things, so heavy duty guys, they all want visibility. It's because they're towing and hauling. That is the, you know, the dominant part of the, the consistent thread through the customers in that segment, I would say, is that they all have some functional need, whether they're hauling a boat, a horse trailer, uh, might not be all the time. Some guys it is every day. So um, one of the big things is visibility. So a couple things we did in the door system. So relative to our light duty, this, this dimension's compressed. So the belt line is a full inch lower than a light duty. So light duty is a little more style, a little more aerodynamic looking. Heavy duty, all about functionality and visibility, total customer input. The other thing we did on the door is we post-mounted the mirror. So our, our old heavy duty, you may recall, it connects to the mirror patch area here. So one of the things we did is, you know, our engineers worked hard on integrating the proper structure and all the functionality, the features that a mirror does, this thing telescopes out electronically, it's got cameras and sensors all built into it for the safety systems. But to uh, build that in and attach it just down on the door and not have anything in this area, so the driver or passenger, you get so much better visibility through there as you're driving. And then it, it's gotta be sealed so that oh, yeah. uh, it yeah, doesn't yeah. rust or anything. Absolutely, yep. And then as you, as you move to the rear, Another thing, this, a lot of these guys, customers have a big fifth wheel trailer, right? So the fifth wheel is interesting as it's pivoting, it's got to get around the height of the box. So we squeeze the dimension compared to our light duty from rocker to top of box down. So as that trailer's sitting there and that big gooseneck trailer is in, in the middle of the box and it's doing an aggressive turn, but they have more clearance, it's also easier for them to get in and get hooked up and that, that really led to the integration of stuff. So all our heavy duties have this, even our work truck, lowest trim level, this is designed right into the box outer and the structure obviously provided the, to hold the, the you know, proper weight for anyone standing on there. So it's, it's sturdy, it's got a lot of, a lot of structure to it. And uh, yeah, guys used to like open the door and try and you can see how hard it is, you know, the, typical running boards to work to help you get in and out of the truck are a little too low yeah. or and sometimes you know you got the radius here so you end up getting way over here and they can't get to where they need to be so the step became a very important part and uh, again at the workshops and clinics we we were a part of with our customers confirmed that we had the idea going in talking to them they're like oh I love that idea finally someone did it <laughs> and, and it really was a result for a long time now, the GM trucks have had the corner stuff. It's been one of our yeah. you know, features it's going all the way back feature. to yeah. Avalanche. And we used to hear that from the customer. They say, "Whatever you do, never get rid of." Us. <laughs> yeah. We actually on this, you know, on these generations. I think you made trucks, it larger, right? Yeah, we made it larger. Yeah. Um, and then we lined up basically the new front stuff with the height of this stuff. So they've got a kind of the same. It's really the proper ergonomic mm -hmm. height to get up and over the bed of a truck. Obviously, um, multi-pro gate is standard on AT4 and Denali's. <clears throat> it is just like the bed height. The dimension is a little shorter than the light duty, so it is a different gate. Mm -hmm. Looks pretty similar. Um, has all the same kind of functionality, just dimensionally. It happens to be different than the light duty version, but offers all the same neat configuration. So you know, you can. Uh, one of the favorites ones to use it as a big wide step just to get in and out if you're unloading cargo. You can. Uh, you can pull this up, see if I can do it here. And then you got the bed extender. Oh, right? that's cool. Four by eights from mm -hmm. Home Depot or mm -hmm. whatever it might be, but it's just keeping stuff from falling out of the bed.